Are you wondering how to get into Yale Medical School? Yale remains one of the most prestigious institutions in the United States. As one of the Ivy League medical schools, it is a highly competitive program that attracts thousands of applicants every year. In this video, you will learn all about Yale's admission statistics, requirements, available programs, selection factors, and tips for how to get in. Hi, my name is Chris and I'm an admissions associate here at BMO. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from now so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you'd like us to help you get into Yale Medical School, click on the link above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. As a quick tip, check out the timestamps in the description of this video to navigate to specific sections of the video that you're interested in. Here's what we're going to cover. Available programs, academic curriculum, admission statistics, tuition, selection factors, interview format, and acceptance and waitlist information. By the way, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions. So comment below for a chance to win. While Yale Medical School is a highly competitive program, there are application strategies that will dramatically increase your acceptance chances. I'll explain closer to the end, so keep watching to find out. Now let's get started. The MD program at Yale takes four years to complete. Students will follow an integrated course curriculum involving both classroom learning in the first two years and increasing opportunities for clinical experiences in their later years through clerkships, clinical electives, and internships. If you wish to pursue the dual MD PhD program, you may undertake a PhD program in one of the following departments biological and biomedical sciences, Yale School of Public Health, School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, Graduate School of Arts and Sciences. The program takes about seven years on average to complete. Other joint programs are offered at Yale, including MD-DIV, MD-JD, MD-MHS, and MD-MBA. Applications to these joint programs are made during or after your second year in the Yale Medical Program. Yale's medical school operates based on semesters. For three semesters, the basic and clinical science curriculum includes eight master courses, three longitudinal courses, and nine longitudinal threads. Starting in mid-April of your first year, you will also participate in the Medical Coach Experience Program. You'll be placed in a group of four with an assigned coach. Your group will meet once a week until mid-December of your second year. The program is meant to help prepare you for your history and physical assessment exam and for your clerkships. Integrated clinical clerkships begin in January of your second year and are organized into 12-week blocks around key themes. The final 17 months of the program give you more flexibility and opportunities for pursuing your own interests through clinical electives, research, and thesis completion. You will take a four-week sub-internship and 33 weeks of either research or clinical electives. There will also be three-week-long capstone courses to complete. Admissions to Yale School of Medicine is highly competitive. In recent years, the admission stats were as follows. Overall acceptance rate, 1.8. In-state acceptance rate, 6.2. Out-of-state acceptance rate, 1.5. International acceptance rate, 2.5. Median GPA, 3.9. Median MCAT, 521. Yale School of Medicine accepts both in-state and out-of-state applicants as well as international applicants. However, all the medical school prerequisites must be completed at a university in the USA, UK or Canada. Tuition. The medical school tuition fees at Yale School of Medicine total $64,024 US dollars per year for in-state and out-of-state applicants. With the inclusion of additional mandatory fees, the total cost is approximately $92,321 per year. 
The average graduate indebtedness of Yale graduates is 121,843 US dollars. Yale School of Medicine does not have a preference for any particular undergraduate major. However, they remind applicants that successful med students must cope with chemistry and biology at the graduate level. The following prerequisites are mandatory for all applicants. General biology with labs, two semesters. General chemistry with labs, two semesters. Organic chemistry with labs, one semester. Biochemistry, lab recommended but not required, one semester. General physics with labs, two semesters. As previously mentioned, all pre-med prerequisites must be completed at a college or university in the USA, UK, or Canada. Yale states that the admissions process is holistic and contextual in its approach and that they do not have any rigid cutoffs in terms of who they will consider. However, since the median GPA of applicants is 3.9, a strong academic record is crucial in order to be competitive. The MCAT score is mandatory for admission to Yale. You must request that your MCAT scores are sent to Yale through MCAS. Your application will not be reviewed until your MCAT scores have been received. The average MCAT score of previous year's matriculants was 521. While shadowing experience is not required for admission, it is strongly recommended for all applicants. Almost all, that's 99% of matriculants in recent years had some pre-medical research or lab experience at the time of entry. So any medical or research experience you have will help you make your application more competitive. It's especially important for MD-PhD applicants to demonstrate research experience to be considered for the dual program and to provide letters of reference from research mentors. The MCAS work and activity section is an important component of your med school application. So make sure to include quality extracurriculars for medical school in this section. For your Yale secondary application, you will be asked to provide a bullet form list of your activities and achievements, ranked from the most to least important. You will be asked to write two medical school secondary essays. A prompt will be provided for each essay. After the essay section, you will be given space to provide any additional information you wish the admissions committee to know about you. Check out Yale's secondary prompts on our website. I provided a link in the description so you can find the blog easily. Your secondary essays for Yale can really make or break your application. This is your chance to demonstrate what makes you the right fit for this particular program. Take this opportunity to elaborate on why you are the perfect applicant to Yale Medical School. Crafting the perfect secondary essay can significantly increase your chances of admissions, especially to such a competitive program. A pre-medical committee letter is recommended for all MD and MD-PhD applicants. If no pre-medical committee is available, applicants must submit at least three medical school recommendation letters. Although the minimum number of letters is three, you may submit up to seven if you wish. The letters should meet the following criteria. At least one letter from someone in the sciences is recommended, although not required. Referees should be individuals who have taught or worked with you in an educational, professional, clinical, community, research, or extracurricular setting. Referees should know you well and be able to speak of your abilities, experiences, achievements, and relevant personal characteristics. Yale Medical School states that all MD candidates must have the five following skills and attributes. Ability to observe demonstrations and experiments observe patients accurately, use of vision, scent, and somatic sensation, good communication skills with patients, communication skills in speech, reading, and writing, ability to communicate effectively with other members of a healthcare team, ability to perform diagnostic maneuvers, retrieve tests, read EKGs and x-rays, carry out diagnostic procedures, motor movement to conduct examinations and provide care. Effective problem solving through the use of measurement, calculation, reasoning, analysis, and synthesis. Interpersonal skills, emotional health, stress management, adaptability, compassion, toleration of heavy workloads, etc. 
The interview format used by Yale School of Medicine is a one-on-one -on -one open file interview, which means that you need to know your application through and through in order to be prepared. MD applicants will have two individual interviews with members of the MD Admissions Committee. They will also have one individual interview with a member of the Office of Admissions staff. MD PhD applicants will have two individual interviews with members of the MD Admissions Committee and two individual interviews with members of the MD PhD Committee. Applicants are usually informed of admissions decisions by March 15th. Approximately 200 applicants are offered positions on the waitlist during the admissions cycle and approximately 30 students get into Yale School of Medicine from the waitlist. If offered a position on the waitlist, students must confirm their position by April 30th. They will start to be considered for admissions after May 1st. Check out our blog to learn more about Yale Medical School. I've included a link in the description of this video so you can find the blog easily. If you'd like us to help you get accepted into Yale Medical School, click on the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, so please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. If you have any question about Yale that I didn't cover in this video, let me know in the comments section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget, we're giving away $50 Amazon gift cards every week to the best comments and questions. So comment below for a chance to win. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time.